Welcome back everyone to some more Immortals Phoenix Rising. So off camera I did a few things and this is also the second time we're recording this because I ran out of disk space and my entire file corrupted. I had problems with the last one anyway. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we are gonna die. Let's get down, let's get down. So I played off camera to try and get a bit more familiar with the game. Just huh. controls and stuff because I played a little bit of Valhalla. So I sort of... I'm terrible when it comes to remembering controls. Now hopefully this one doesn't have any problems. I've got a little bit of disk space left but we'll see if it lasts. As for this quest, it's fairly fun. Come back you're done now, you hear? And be sure to tell all your fellow creatures that I am here to serve them. Fresh up, available night and day. Uh, if I could move, I'd deliver. Happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. So we'll need, uh, mythical salt water? Oh. Oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly travel a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. <sighs> Aphrodite? Sweet and charitable? No more mischief? Yeah. Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. <sighs> 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 so 
So now they've stopped talking. I'm going to take this guy on, just like I did before. I probably won't do as well this time. What's funny is that happened before too. That didn't though. So yeah, you can pretty much spam dodge this game. I don't know how effective it is at dodging the attacks. I think there's a limit of three. And if you just beat the guy with the axe... Uh oh. If you just beat the guy with the axe... And fill that blue bar... Fill the blue bar, you're getting down stunned like this. And I've noticed if you keep at least one full segment of health bar, you can't one hit kill you. Not with his feet anyway. Uh oh. I'm doing a hell of a lot worse this time. You want that to happen. Because it gives you a few free hits on him. Well, now that he's dealt with, let's move on. I can also pick up an achievement. I'm not going to take that guy on. Not just yet. I want to make my way over to this potion thing over here. So normally you find uh, berries or herbs or whatever they are around the bottom of these. There isn't any around this one, unfortunately, so I can't really show you. I'm just going to craft max of all these. You should get an achievement for doing this too. On your first, on your first attempt you should get an achievement. Well, let's move on. like we've got another big guy over here. I wonder if I can sneak attack him. Should give me an achievement if I if I manage to land one more sneak attack. No, don't push the brick. This should do a lot of damage. Well enough. Give me some rocks, give me some rocks. Uh oh, I'm out of stamina. I did not know it used stamina. doing terrible at this. No, oh, he's going to go get another boulder. Need to get enough stamina to catch it. Come on. Here he goes again. And then I just spam RB until he gets up. The rocks is like a really cheesy tactic, in my opinion. Yeah. 
One more hit. Grandpappy Uranus locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. So you pretty much got to push this all the way down this hill. And it goes for a while. A very long while. I wish you could pick it up. The birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad Kronos had a battle so great it severed heaven from earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs> grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh wait, no. Maybe I don't have to. That's it, you keep going. I'll push it over this bit. So that should roll down there. Let me see if I can get a stealth kill on this guy by this rock. I want that achievement. What about these fat things here? I just want one stealth kill. I have no idea how I did that. Problem solved. Oh, red fruits. Any more? Oh, there is. Right, I'm going to push this pearl down this hill. Down it goes. Have to break these. Come on. I hate these things. The fact that you can't lock onto them either. Got anything I can throw? Nope, that failed. I'm just gonna have to jump up and attack these. go, that's one. Oh, well, you can lock on. Gotcha. Got to push it to this gate. This is like the easiest puzzle in any game. It's not even a puzzle. 
Oh. I was not expecting that. So let's push that there. Here we go, super complicated look. There we go. I know it was hard, but you know, it's doable. Down we go. From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah, Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. This is the first time one of these has worked for me. And I don't think I have enough stamina to get up. Nope. And we have to power through fruits. Well, mushrooms. Until I get to the top. And we got to make our way back to Aphrodite. So I will see you there. So before I get over there, I know there's going to be a boss fight, obviously, because I've done this before. It is better to grab some fruits out of trees if you can find some. You just saw me shoot one down at least. This is probably the most difficult fight I've had to deal with so far. And it is not very nice at all. Here we go. You've returned, you sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please. Take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No. There's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. Yeah, this is not a very nice thing to fight. It attacks so fast. Oh man. So it should be left. And then right. I don't know what I was doing there. Come on. Then just lay into him with the sword. Might be a good thing that my last recording messed up. Because the camera angles on this bit were terrible before he pinned me up against that big wall behind me. Oh, 
come on. There we go. This should be it now for him. Oh, come on. There we go. What just happened? Typhoon must not like you. Though, I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' lair. I can't help but the other three raids, though, Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say, bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that! Tough crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone, so I'm quite keen to- Nope. Nope. Uh, for some reason, that route is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy! By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right. We have a plan, then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to gather those tears in the next one. So thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.